this week uh, we begin the reading of the Chumash Dvarim. Chumash Dvarim differs uh, from the first four books of the Torah because the Chumash Dvarim is, so to speak, Moshe's speech. It's with the Nevoa, the divine inspiration, etc., and the Sefer Torah would be incomplete without Kumish Dvarim. <coughs> but it's not the same as the first four. So we find in the Gemara that there are uh, opinions that one is not allowed to make a Gzei to make a comparison of words in the Kumish Dvarim the way we do in the other uh, books because of the fact that it's, so to speak, human speech. Human speech is not subject to the Yud Gimel Midas Shatar and Idresh Shatar. We don't necessarily pask in that way. We find many times in the Talmud that they deal with Sefer Dvorim with all of the Yud Gimel Midas, but nevertheless it's a thought that's out there. It's different. It's different because Eila Advorim Asher Diber Moshe. It doesn't begin Vaidaber Hashem or Moshe Lemo. So, that's an important thing to uh, look at. And uh, what does that mean to us? Why should it be? And then we have the problem that in Chumish Dvorim there are apparent differences than what appeared in the first four books. In this week's Parsha, right away with the Miraglim, Moshe says, you all came to me and you wanted to send the Miraglin and I gave in to you. And in Parsha Shlach, it says, Vaidaber Hashem al Moshe Leimor Shlach Anoshim. It's not because they came to him. God said to send the Miraglin. And there are many other places that there are discrepancies. And if, for instance, uh, next week in Voet uh, Hanan, so in the Aseret Adibrot, there are differences. It says, Shomor uh, is Yom HaShav is Lakadsho. We had it, Zohar is Yom HaShav is Lakadsho. And in Los Achmo, there are differences. And uh, it's foolish to say the way uh, the so-called uh, scholars say that the people who put the Torah together were unaware of these things. They couldn't figure out that it was different. Oh, you got to go to Hebrew University to figure it out that there are differences. So what, what, how, did, how do we grapple with this? Well, I thought about it all day thought about other things, too. But, uh, you know, uh, I prepare for this august uh, class every day by thinking about it, which is a bad habit. The best way to deliver a class is just get up and say it. If you think about it, so then numerous problems arise. So I thought about it today, and I uh, thought that I saw an insight. And that is that in all matters, there is kaviochal, the view of heaven, and the view of human beings, of our world. It's two different views of the same thing. But kilo machshavosai machshavoseichem, below darchechem drochoi. The Navi says, our view is never the view of heaven, because we are human and mortal, and limited, and heaven is not, and therefore we can both see the same thing, but certainly differently. Certainly not in the same fashion. So therefore, uh, 
what it says in the first four books is the view of heaven. It was dictated to Moshe. So Moshe's input is not present. And that's why you can make all sorts of drushes and you can read between the lines and all of the Yudgimu Midas Shator and the Dreshes for him apply because we're talking about heaven's view of the matter. Heaven's view of the matter is different than ours. That's why Chazal say, you know, on this earth we paskin like Basilo, but by Shemayim they paskin like Beis Shemayim. What does that mean? So heaven's view is different. They see it differently. So we're on earth, so we have to follow our view because we cannot discern heaven's view. But we should know that it's a different view. So when it came to the Miragli, heaven said, heaven arranges it that the Maraglim should go. It's a challenge for the Jewish people. It's a test of their love of Eretz Yisrael. So, Vaidabe Hashem O Moshe, Shlach Lacha Anoshe. The Rabbon Shon tells it to Moshe, you send spies. But Moshe did not send spies because God told him. He sent spies because the people came to him. The people came to me, wanted to curry their favor. Every leader wants to be reelected. Nobody wants to stand up against all the people. So everybody came and said, "We should send spies." Oh, yeah, good. So we want to send. So that's why he sent spies. We find that by Shaul Amelech that the Novi told him. Why did you do this? Why did you leave the cattle of Amalek alone? And he said, to your ACS home. I'm human. I'm the leader. You're telling me from heaven, from heaven, the, they're never afraid of Amalek. They're never afraid of the people. I'm afraid. So therefore, you have a different viewpoint. So all of Kumish Dvarim is a different viewpoint. It's a viewpoint from here. Not necessarily how heaven sees it. So in the Torah it says, Zohar, so we say, Shomer v'zohar b'dibur echad, right? So the Gemara says, Ma'ashe aloshon eino yechol levate, what human speech, we cannot say two words together. Ma'ashe ozen eino yodea liklot, we cannot hear two sounds together. So we heard, we heard Shomor. Rabboni Shalom emphasized Zohar. So in the Luchas Rishonas, it said Zohar. In the Luchas Shniyos, it says Shomor. And that's what we say in Shmon Esri, on Shabbos. Doesn't say Shabbos. And so it's written on the Luchos. Shomor is Yom Shabbos Even though Zohar was there. So it's a different viewpoint. You're seeing it from a different direction. And therefore, all of the so-called contradictions and differences that we see, that we're going to see in this whole Kumish Dvarim, is reflective of that. And it's true through the entire Kumish. Uh, the first parsha of Rashi's. So there are two versions of the creation of man. So, you know, by Salavajic wrote a great essay, Adam 1 and Adam 2, that I never quite figured out what he's talking about. But he pointed out the issue. 
And there, all the Mephorshim say there are two different versions. So, and you tell me that uh, the author, Kaviyocho, didn't realize he's got two versions going one after the other? The one version is heavens. And one version is the way we understood it, the way we saw creation, which is not necessarily coincide, does not necessarily coincide with heaven's view. And we find that by Avram and Sora. The Bon Shalom said to him, Loma said, Sochaka Sora Lemur. Why did Sora laugh? And she, so Avram said, Why did you laugh? She said, I never laughed. What, is she a liar? Sora Yemenu is not telling the truth. But heaven saw that she laughed inside of her. She laughed. She didn't even realize that she laughed. Because we're human. And therefore she said, Lo, I didn't laugh. And he said to her, Lo, Kitzachak, you must have laughed. Because that's how heaven saw it. And that's a rule throughout the Torah and throughout Tanakh that there always are two viewpoints. We're going to come now to Tishabov. So Tishabov is the saddest day of the year. By us, it's Avelus. The Novi says, Koralai Moed. Sayuntif. What is he? What is he? Mocking us? The Novi Yirmiya? We don't say Tachlan, which is the greatest joy that a Jew can have. Right? So the same idea, Mizrael also Elohim goyim boim bo benachlosach. So by the Bo Shalom, it's a mizmor because he sees the end. He sees the whole picture, and we only see the tragedy. We only see the churban. So we have to react to it the way we reacted. Human beings, we sit on the floor. We don't eat. We don't say shalom aleichem. Okay, we don't wear shoes. That's our reaction. But in heaven, it's Koral Aimoe. It's a different view completely. And because Yotzo Chamoso Aloetzin Bolavonir. So the base of English was destroyed, but the Jewish people survived. So Koral Aimoe. So Yontif. So when we look at Torah, Torah is naturally multi dimensional. It has all of these aspects to it. Uh, but we should be sophisticated enough to realize that heaven may not see things the way we see things and that there are differences and that we're humans and because of that we have limitations. And we should not jump to scholarly conclusions and just because of the fact that if we would have written it, we would have written it differently. And that's one of the great problems that exist in our time because it's a faulty approach to Torah and it brings with it many, many problems. Yeah, I'm